Hello and welcome to this video. This is all about MCU One, getting the V11 update today. Um, I've noticed a couple of people have got it in the UK today, um, looking on the Tesla Fi and things like that. The US may have had it a bit earlier. However, I'm just going to quickly cover some of the advantages and features of Vision 11 over Vision 10. People in Model 3, Model Y, Model X or Model S with MCU 2 or above will have had this for a good year by now. Um, but the point of the matter is, is that uh, MCU 1, which I thought wasn't going to get it at all, and a lot of people said this would not get it at all, um, has now got Vision 11. So quickly, I'm just going to go over some certain performance features such as scrolling and browsing. Keep in mind that this is going over a Wi-Fi hotspot from the phone that you're currently viewing from. So um, it's a lot quicker than it used to be, believe it or not. So it might be a lot slower than MCU 2 and MCU 3. Um, but uh, it is actually a lot quicker than it used to be. Yeah, so that's one thing. Additionally is, I've noticed if we change over to um, satellite, this is a lot quicker as well. Used to really chug with that, so. That's a significant improvement over, over previous versions. Um, what else have we got? So we've got um, new navigation area. This has now been moved from over here. It used to be above these icons, and that's been moved over here, which makes it a bit easier, because when you navigate somewhere, it defaults to the trip view, and then north view, and I've just changed it to be how I want it to be, uh, which is generally the direction that you're going. Um, something else to note is the... Um, Instrument cluster over here, the text is now larger. Every now and then they do an iteration where they make it smaller and it looks more, you know, refined and then they just make it bigger on the next version. I don't know why. I wonder if it's just to make people think that they're getting something more exciting than new, but uh, that's not the case. Anyway, additionally we got camera is nicely uh, positioned now because we can move stuff into this bar down here. So we move phone calls out if you want and you can move rear defrost and everything else into here. Um, so I'm just going to close that. So camera is nice and quick. Um, you've got the web browser, you've got your energy consumption, your volume. Something I don't necessarily like is the uh, fact that even though the seat heater I can drop in here, it's more of the fact that I have to click on this to change the seat. Yeah, um, It's really hard to press down this bottom bit, you know, because it is just basically really hard to press. Um, additionally, I don't like it that my passenger now lo no longer has an option over here, but that's a gripe that people have had with Vision 11 for a while. I'm sure there's a way around it, possibly, um, or there's not, <laughs> and it will probably become an update. But generally, certain things like the browser are still very much broken, as you can tell. I'm just trying to click that. I'm trying to do anything. Oh, it's crashed. There we go. So that's our first crash in um, Vision 11. So let's just see how long it takes. Ah, there we go, just because the browser was already in the background. Um, okay, so let's try going to the BBC website. BBC, not like this, like the BBC in any way, shape or form. But we're going to the bbc.co.uk website, loading it up, or trying to. Once again, keep in mind this going through the hotspot through my, from my phone. And as you can see, it's still very much broken. Uh, it does load after a little while. The Engadget site was actually really quick to load, but this disclaimer basically broke the whole thing. So that's not working. Um, if you're wondering what the update is at the top, it's actually downloading the 2022 maps. Um, we only had the 2021 maps on MCU 1 back at the end of last year, uh, I believe. And we were running on 2019 maps prior to that. So. When they changed to Vision 11 on all the other cars, um, it was actually um, clear that MCU 1 was no longer going to be supported. See, this is nice and quick now, which is a bit bizarre. I know I'm not navigating far, but whatever. Um, but yeah, it seemed like we were no longer going to get any big updates. So, um, for example, my brother went and bought MCU 2, which is like a two grand upgrade for the whole thing. Um, and now I got MCU, uh, sorry, OS 11 anyway. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, right, so let's just chest another couple of things. So let's go to Alexandra Road, Somerset, and see how long this takes. As you can see, it's still loading in squares because it's having to do the route and also various other things. And it's taken quite a while on this one, and it failed for some reason. Let's try that again. It doesn't normally fail. So 
So yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not very happy that the fact is zooming back in before it's got the route calculated and everything else. I'm hoping that once it actually does calculate the route, uh, you can see the time there. So it'll be a few minutes by the looks of it, maybe. Um, this is very poor, considering earlier on I did a route um, to Disneyland Paris and it was 20 seconds. That was right after I did the update. So for it to be struggling with this one is a bit of a problem, to be honest. Uh, maybe we should try somewhere else. Uh, let's try... Uh, Inverness. Come on. Okay, that's really interesting. I have a funny feeling it's something to do with the update, and that's why it's going so slow. Yeah, that's not good. Let's have a look at this update. Okay, let's try it again. We're now on the LTE network, not on the hotspot of the phone, so we're just going to try this again. See if it goes any quicker. Hopefully it will. Because if basic routing is a problem, then uh, that's not good, to be honest. It does look to be a problem. Right. Okay, so something else we're going to test then is uh, restart times. So how long does it take to restart the actual um, MCU? Here we go. So currently the time is 6.01.06. I'm just going to go ahead and restart the MCU. Give it a second, I'll bring the clock back on screen. There we go, right, so. 6.01, 18, 19, there we go. So we're not gonna do both, but uh, we'll, I'll do the other uh, instrument cluster in a second. Just wondering if this boots up any quicker than the old one. I don't think it will, but uh, unfortunately I don't have any metrics to base it on, so you have to go back and look at other videos, unfortunately. There are plenty on YouTube. Okay, so we already got popping from the speakers, which is a good sign. I'm just going to lower this a little bit more, just so we can see. Okay, there we go. So. Um, that is now fully loaded, it's playing music, and there you go, you can see us loading error, great, that's fun, but yeah, it's playing music, and uh, it's actually quite responsive through on the, through off the bat, that's not so much, but, uh, but yeah, let's see if it navigates now to, um, just hold this up so we can actually time it again, let's navigate to Alexandra Road, as I've been trying to do before, just see if this works this time. There we go, so that's working. That's quite quick. So I'm assuming it's because of the update, because the update was pending and it already started doing a fair bit. That's why it was taking so long last time. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just do a quick test. This is the kind of problem we used to have a lot on MC1 version 10. We have lots of these blocks. You'd be driving and you're nothing but those blocks. Uh, obviously it's just rebooted, so I'm gonna give a little bit of leeway uh, initially. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna navigate which I haven't done so obviously since this thing. Disneyland Paris. Yeah, so we're going to see roughly how long it takes. It's going to obviously tell us which supercharger to go to first because we can't go straight there. And uh, yeah, it seems like that time to go from the navigation map straight back to where we are is a very quick. And we've got all our charging stops now. And there we go. So I'm just going to move this the way. So there we go. That's all our charging stops, the reading, and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm relatively happy, that's quite quick to be honest compared to how it used to be. It used to take about two minutes, maybe a minute and a half to go to Disneyland from here. Uh, but this time round it's about 20-30 seconds, so that's good. And as I was trying to demonstrate earlier, if we just go and hit the maps now. It's loading them in, don't forget this is over the LTE of the phone. Um, and then obviously if we drag and drop, we'll drag this along. This isn't too bad, like we wouldn't be traveling this fast anyway, so it's literally just dragging. 
And then if we just go back to where we are, that's quite quick and snappy. It's a lot slower than MCU 2, I understand that for everyone else who has MCU 2 and MCU 3. Uh, but keep in mind that this is MCU 1, it is old. Uh, old tech, basically. Uh, it's an NVIDIA Tegra processor. Uh, oh yeah, I just need to prove that it's an NVIDIA Tegra processor. So if we go into software and then go into uh, additional vehicle information, you will see the base is Autopilot 1. Uh, sorry, the audio system yeah, the, is base. The Autopilot computer is Vision 1. Uh, and the infotainment processor is NVIDIA Tegra. Okay? So that's MCU 1, basically. Okay. So, that uh, concludes the quick video. I know that uh, a lot of people will be like, well, I mean, we've all these features we've had for a long time. Welcome to the club, blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the day, uh, yes, well done. Uh, but I, I'm not paying two grand at the moment to replace this for the same software that I've now just got. Um, I have my trusty tablet, as you saw, for example. So I watch Netflix and Disney on this when I'm supercharging. Uh, it is not worth two grand to upgrade this, in my opinion. Regardless of how snappy it is, it gets me from A to B. Uh, although the navigation on this... Uh, initial video um, doesn't show very well until I restart it. Like I said, I think that's due to the fact it's downloading the maps. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. I do cover some Tesla stuff, but I've got some interesting house stuff going on at the moment as well. I'm going to be doing videos on that. I've already started doing some. Um, but also, I do tech reviews and things like that as well. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you again. Bye!